Wheels, may I speak with you? Papa Wheelie, why don't you go fill out your HR forms? Teddy Bonkers will help you. The, the teddy bear? Teddy bear? His name is Theodore Bonkers. He's not the smartest guy, but he tries harder than anyone I've ever met. And I've met Ed Burns. Go talk to him. Just go with it. What the hell, Wheels? He was so excited, I, I couldn't let him down. Uh, it, it, it says, uh, list previous work experience or draw a picture of a cowboy. I can't draw a cowboy. Is a pirate acceptable? Yes. Well, I tried this thing in every lock in the old man's house. This opens nothing. Listen, Wheels. The grandfather may have left a clue in this piano. Why's that, Legman? Because it's out of key. <laughs> <laughs> a clue would have been grand. <laughs> In the sand. You made me stop laughing. Well, at least you're good for something. <laughs> what is this? It's coffee. I only drink flaming Grand Marnier. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know Bonkers said to bring coffee. You're a liability. You know what your problem is? Papa Wheelie doesn't have a backstory. All right, all you have is a prop. How did you end up on that unicycle? Are you a hipster? Are you a Frenchman? Were you raised by a Russian circus bear? You don't know! You just woke up one morning and saw a unicycle, you stupid hack! I, I don't know about you, but this case has put me in the mood for some cocaine. <laughs> I, I get that joke, because cocaine comes in keys, right? The leg man doesn't joke about cocaine. Cocaine is not a joking matter. The teacher here is supposed to be the most intense and demanding instructor in all of clowning and shit. It's Roger, isn't it? It's gonna be Roger. All right, Jagoffs, the name's H.J. Rimmons. Look to your left, look to your right. By the end of the semester, 60% of you will be dead by your own hand. The rest will be clowns. You dig? Okay, I'm out of here. Huh, I'm, I'm a little confused because you said here on your application you wanted to be a clown. More than anything. So what's your gooch? Gooch is horn corn for clown name. Horn corn is horn corn for clown lingo. Gonna be honking a lot of horn corn around here, you dig? So what's your gooch, kid? Dimples. Dimples? Pretty buckety gooch, don't you think? More horn corn. <laughs> Relax, just slide in your whistle. Why don't you show us what you got? I, uh... Come on, man, no pressure. Just lay a little jeep on these cats. Whatever you got, no big. Fart was a nice touch. Smells, too. Ladies and gentlemen, we could be looking at the next Emmett Kelly. Of sucking? Oh. That's right, you nut-licking little turds. I ain't here to hold your hands. I'm here to play mind games and emotionally abuse you into being clowns. <laughs> That's clowning, you shitheads. Justice Hunter, philanthropist, has a Gmail account. This is News Glance with Genevieve Vavans. Been a tough day for all of us here at The Glance. Steve Smith has now been missing for 36 hours. I'm joined by some of Steve's classmates. You look like the type of girls who do a lot of regrettable things. How does it feel today knowing you'll probably never get to hit that? Sad. Steve was really cute. I guess I just wish I could have hit that. It's so important to have sex with people before they go missing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All those girls want me? Awesome! The longer I stay in this cabin, the more late I'm gonna get! Yeah. More volume! I want it super big! <laughs> You're doing a great job. I know I'm demanding, but I'm working on it. But it also got me where I am today. So when I ask you to make it super big, I mean make it super big, I will murder you! I'm sorry. <laughs> Work in progress. God is not finished with this gal. Hey, Genevieve, I'm all set to do my story on Garbage Island. Yeah, 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 we'll get to it. But first, I got an exclusive with the parents. Wait, what? And we're back. I'm here tonight with Stan and Francine Smith, heartbroken parents of America's missing son, Steve Smith. Stan? Francine? Why did you murder your son? What? Not ready to confess? Let's look at some statistics. 100% of the time a child goes missing, the parents did it. Legally not a fact. What are you talking about? And where'd you hide the body? We didn't hide the body. So you admit there's a body. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry, it's been a long week. Emotions are running wild. Can I get you something? A beer water, perhaps? No, thanks. That stuff gives me diarrhea. Stan, are you close with your son? No, but that doesn't mean I murdered him. Interesting. Can we play that back? 
I murdered him. You son of a bitch! <gasps> we have to take a break. Beer water. It won't give you diarrhea. Just keep it natural. You guys are doing great. You're coming off super likable. Francine, how many times did you stab your son? None! Huh. Well, my team and I created a reenactment of what we believe happened the night Steve disappeared. You know what I've been thinking about lately? How Steve is the worst? Yes, I kind of want to murder him. Great idea. We'll use my knife. Hey, Mom. Hi, Dad. Just coming in here to love you. <laughs> Forgive you. <laughs> Gruesome stuff. Can you two stick around for my next guest? Yeah? Well, please welcome Officer Keith Benson. What? Stan and Francine Smith, you are under arrest for the murder of your son. What the hell? We didn't kill him! We love our son! Wait, officer, please! You're making a mistake! Tragic. After the break, bulimia. Bad for you. But is it good for your toilet? Find out tonight at 11. What is your drink, sir? Beer. Shaken, not stirred. Hey, handsome. Got a light? Looks like you got yourself a cigarette there. I'm sex pun to come. I get a good feeling from you. Do you get a good feeling from me? Are you a whore? I mean, it's cool if you're a whore, but no right now, I don't get with no whore. Another martini for a tearjerker. Good evening, tearjerker. Smith. Stan Smith. Didn't really ask who you were, but okay. I'd like an invitation to your spa. I only invite celebrities. Well, perhaps I can play you for an invitation. Name your game. Okay. Baccarat. Yeah, I don't know how to play that. Okay, then. Craps. Yeah, I don't get that either. I mean, seven's good, but then seven's not good. How do you play the whore and then they get mad at me? Okay, okay. Perhaps you should name your game. But I must warn you, I never lose. Okay, let's play highest number. I'm not familiar with it. Whoever says the highest number wins. You go first. Thank you. Six thousand. Seventeen thousand. <gasps> Well played. I guess I'll see you on the Teardrop Islands. Did you get it? Yes, baby. I trust you'll enjoy my spa, Mr. Stan Smith of the CIA. In fact, you'll like it so much, you'll never leave. <laughs> oh my god, you smell that? I had a pickle an hour ago. Came with my Reuben. I'm so fat. And filthy rich in three, two. <laughs> Manager guy, Luke sexually harassed me. It was horrible. He wouldn't stop. I deserve money. Well, this is very serious, Laura. Marjorie, could you please send in Luke Fondelberg? Oh, just got my period. Damn uterus refreshing itself every month like it owns the joint. You wanted to see me? Fondelberg. Did you sexually harass Miss Vanderboobin? You bet your ass I did. I harassed the crap out of her. Damn it. Now we have to pay her a settlement. You're fired. Both of those things work for me. See you in hell. False alarm. It turns out I just had to poop. What did Luke say? Well, he admitted he harassed you. I'm still reeling. Let's talk settlement. I'm thinking a million dollars. Actually, our lawyers have determined that juries pay a larger settlement to women who are more attractive. So, with that in mind, this is our offer. Unharassable, huh? Well, this juicy settlement says otherwise. Wow, $90,000. I know, respectable, right? Yeah, yeah, completely respectable. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of money. So, uh, can you, um, I don't know, loan me a couple of Gs? Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. I have a policy. I never loan friends money. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, but I'm good for it. No, I know. It's not about that. It's just a rule I have. I got in a situation a few years ago. It got really ugly, so I just decided. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. I am, too. Frankly.
Oh, really thought we were gearing up for a much more satisfying chase. But this... Roger, I'll kill you! I'm not Roger, I'm the Phantom! <gasps> Roger? Well, yeah, who did you... What? Well, anyway, you'll never stop me! <laughs> there you go again, stealing my idea. Well, until you tell the family this telethon was my idea, I've got havoc to wreak. Wreck? Wreak. It ends now. Ha! You can't stop the Phantom. These riggings and catwalks are my domain. And I am their master! All right, all right, I give up. But it doesn't matter. I've already destroyed this telethon. And untied your bow tie. No! You've given me a relaxed demeanor. Oh, my God, is that a bomb? You planted a bomb? What the hell are you talking about? That's enough C4 to blow up this entire building. Disarm it. Stan, it's not mine. All I did was change the teleprompter, cut the bear's brakes, release the terrorist, drop a fishing boat on Jeff Fisher. Wait, you released the terrorist? He's an explosives expert. We'll never be able to disarm it. Oh, my God! Stan, I know exactly what to do. Put me down. Let's try that on the fart setting. <laughs> I don't know. It's funnier, but I think it takes out some of the tension. <laughs> you done with dinner? Let's sign the check and get out of here. Calm down, Stan. I'm still talking to my new friends, King Harold of Norway and his wife, Queen Sonia. Now, the freeways in Dallas are horrible. Just take a taxi from the airport. Take taxis everywhere. And head straight for Bud's Tex-Mex. Don't bring your wife. The bathroom scene there is amazing. Huh? Now you tell me something good. Oh, yum, dessert! This is wonderful. Best tiramisu I've ever had. <sighs> Maybe too much rum. Okay, dinner's over. Roger, here's the bill. Just sign it to the room. Yeah, I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally leave a tip. No! What? Is this, Stan? You used me, just like you always do. Look, we can talk about it on the plane ride home. Right now, we gotta fake your assassination and drop the general's body in your place. Here, put on these squibs. I truly thought you wanted to go on a friend's vacation with me. Actually, what I really wanted was this. An aerial screw? Yep. Now, be a trooper, go out on that balcony and get shot 15 times in the chest. <sighs> I'm okay! What the hell are you doing? I'm staying here and running this dump, that's what. Guards! See that Senor Smith leaves my country immediately. I hope your helicopter was worth it because it cost us our friendship. The prosecution would now like to call Mr. Sugar to the stand. Guess who's the luckiest guy in the courtroom? Bert, because he gets to watch my big round ass as I walk to the stand. <laughs> Mr. Sugar. How do you explain this photo of you with illegal employees and counterfeit merchandise? <gasps> you know what's not counterfeit in that photo? My emotions. Aww. Okay, I don't know what that means, but here you are accepting a cash payment for the fake handbags. Do you admit that this is you? I will, if you admit this is you. Well, I, how, how did you... Look how happy you are. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, don't they make a great couple? God, she looked good before the baby. Mr. Sugar made us work very hard. When we weren't sewing handbags, he made us sleep on the floor. Inez, thank you. 
Inez, does the date September 19th mean anything to you? Es mi cumpleaños. In English, please. It is my birthday. Can you tell me what this is, Inez? It is the bear you gave me for my birthday. So, if I was the monster the prosecution is trying to portray me as, would I have given you such a wonderful birthday present? No. In English, please. No. Martin Sugar rests, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wilbur, watch out! Oh, oh, yeah. We can write a porno, right? We can totally do this. HP's a dunce. Sure, he has a good eye for casting black men, but what does he know about story? Bupkiss. Okay, porn scenario. Think, Steve. Think, it's not just gonna fall into our laps. How's it going, guys? Where's my sandwich? Coming right up. I just wanted to introduce you to my friend Sandy. She's new here, completely inexperienced, but eager to learn. You might say I'm a virgin at this. <laughs> I didn't order your life story. I ordered a tuna melt. Why is it so hot in here? Oh my god, we're so sorry, guys. The air conditioning broke. We'll fix it right away. If there's anything else you need, anything, just call us. And I mean anything. What's wrong with you? Do you get a dollar every time you say the word anything? <laughs> I got it. Steve, start typing. Exterior, Costa Mesa Day. Need a hand with that? Who are you? My husband's away on business. I'm the pool boy slash pizza guy. I'm here to check your pH balance and deliver the sausage you ordered. What the hell? That's the crap HP hated. It's not modern or real. Were you even listening? I was the pool boy and the pizza guy. If demonstrating that the working poor need two jobs just to make ends meet isn't modern or real, then I don't know what the hell is. All right, listen up. There's a new renegade in town, and he's hungry for gating. Now, who has an injustice? Well, there is a local biker gang that's been terrorizing us. Well, not anymore. Something to eat? Thought I'd finish up these fries. Those are cold. I'm a renegade. I like my fries cold and my beers smoking hot. <gasps> that's them. Are, are you sure? I can't renegade unless you're 100% sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. It sounds like you're saying unsure. You picked the wrong day to come in here. We got us a renegade. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The fries are so good. Who's the renegade? <laughs> this guy? <laughs> Please, sir, help us. Fries, 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 fries. <laughs> <laughs> You promised to help us. You're a coward. Would a coward do this? Renegade. Yep, I remember when Stan came to me months ago and asked me to plan the whole thing. <laughs>